blame me if you blow up the house. Rob's getting him and Peggy a chair. I did read the book. <laughs> Canning with Michelle. Everybody needs to do this. We crossed the border. Other way, other way, other way. We have to take a pause because there's a spider hanging. You got it. Oh, a little fly. I'm going to hand Peggy off to my husband again. I get passed around. It's time to go in the canner. First dibs at the news if you blow up. Can she see my jar? She's looking. She can't see my jar. He's got he's got Peggy in his arms for the day. Sorry, Andy. No offense. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Guess what I'm doing today? I'm canning. Canning corn. You didn't think I'd do this by myself, did you? I'm scared to death. I'm scared to death I'm going to blow up the kitchen that Rob just made me. I have a friend. She's helping me. I'm only here so you can blame me if you blow up the house. It's going to be her fault, her fault, if we blow up the house. Uh, Does everybody know who this is? This is Peggy from Paige Family Homestead. No, it's not Andy. <laughs> Rob, it's not Andy, it's is not it? Not Andy. It's not Andy. Not Andy. Oh. She has graciously offered to help me in my first canning corn. I've never canned corn before. So we're going to do this together, and we thought it would be fun. It's going to be fun, and it doesn't need to be scary, so that's why I wanted to join you, Michelle. I'm so glad you wanted to join me. I am too. I want first dibs at the news if you blow up. <laughs> yeah, right? See my ceiling? Woo! You see that? It'll go right through there. So you're using pints. Right? Yes, I'm using, yes, I, I don't okay. know who to talk to. Yes, I'm using pints. And do you know how many cups are in a pint? I, I wrote all this down. I took notes. Okay. I want to show everybody, I want to show everybody what I've done. If it's your first time canning, you can do this too. And this is odd because I don't know what to talk to. I don't know whether to talk to Peggy on the phone or the people out there. But, talk to the people. Talk to the people. I, I've made a notebook with folders and pockets so that I can keep notes. When she asked me that question, I have it written down in my notebook and it's 12 cups. It's 12 cups. I knew that. No, no, it's not 12 cups. Three it's not quarts? 12 cups in a pint. Oh, I thought you asked. Darn it, she asked me the wrong. I answered. I was so excited to answer the question. I answered the wrong question. No. Uh, what is your question again? I can tell you how many. Three quarts of hot water is twelve cups. I can tell her that. So. Yes, you can. And that's how many quarts of water you needed for your particular canner, right? That's right. I. That is right. Yeah. See, so you've been reading your book. I did read the book. I did read the book. <laughs> so, what question did you just ask me? I asked you how many cups were in a pint. I, th I don't know that. I don't know. <laughs> She's going to answer that for us. I'm not going to answer it. You are. You're going to figure it out. There's two cups. You want to know how I knew that? On the side of my jar, it says that. There you go. See? You'll never forget now. Yeah. On the side of the jar, it does say that. All right, we're going to do this now. And I'm going to give Rob the phone. Rob's here. I get the phone? Okay. Yeah, so he can he can guide us through. Peggy. I get the phone. Yeah, so he's got, he's got Peggy in his arms for the day. Sorry, Andy. No offense. And we're going to do this. <sighs> we're just going to do this. All right, so what do I need to do first? Okay, so you've already, make sure you've sterilized or dishwasher your jars. Bring her closer because people, I can't hear her. Okay, yes. You have your jars ready. You have your vids ready. You have your rings close by. You have all the product you need that you're putting inside your jars close by. You've got all your tools for measuring your head space. Um, for pulling the hot lid out of the water, Can put them on the table? deep bubbling. I'm getting there. Okay, deep bubbling. And you have a yeah, and you're going to need your um, funnel. You got it. You just need your funnel. Get the funnel. Okay, pick a jar, any jar. Wait, jar. you know what you forgot to say? The what? corn. The corn. Oh. 
the product. Have your product close oh, by. Oh, product. Who says product? <laughs> you see this? I'm Canadian. We've got the product. We've got the camera. We've got the phone. I need the product. We have the insurance policy. Right here. This, this is like <laughs> Peggy's Peggy's version of our flow for progressive. Okay. I'm here. I'm here as a witness. There you go. Here's a witness. Okay. okay. She's the witness. I need the product. You took it away. You need the product? He took the product away. Here we go. All right. I've got the corn. Well, I'll hold this. Okay. You said there or something. Okay. You're not going to be able to do both. And you need your little, your little container with white vinegar in your napkins. She's making this really difficult. I think we need to move across the kitchen. Hold on a minute. No, it's called being prepared so everything flows from this point on. All right. We need to be prepared over on the other side of the kitchen because I have more room over there. So can we move? Can we move? We're going to move across the kitchen. We'll be right back. You can do it there. The red light wasn't on. We weren't even recording. We got to do it all over. Hot the mess express. We brought Peggy and Andy into our world. Yes, uh, we, did. we crossed the border. <laughs> good grief. All right. So, what I have done is I've reset up my assembly line. Being that this is my first time canning, I wasn't aware that I needed this much space. I have my canning jars the corn, everything I need in this area. We were over on that little counter and, and that just wouldn't make it for us. We wouldn't be able to do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you down and we're gonna start. I'm gonna hand Peggy off to my husband again. Okay. I, I got the pegster here. He has the pegster. All right, so what do ready I do? For this? I'm ready, I'm ready. Ready? I'm, I'm ready, but now see what I've, what I've forgotten to get how am I going to get the corn out of here to put it in the jar? You're going to put your funnel on your jar. Okay. And now take your ladle and ladle it in. Where's that? Is there a song called ladle? I don't know where my ladle went. Oh, good heaven sakes to pee. It's in the it's pot in the of hot water. Canning with Michelle. Everybody needs to do this. Okay. I have this big, Christmas is I'm coming. ready. Don't you dare get me a ladle for Christmas. <laughs> okay, we're ready. <laughs> ladle it in, honey. Do I need to put any water in the bottom of this first or just the corn? Good girl. Good girl. Always put um, about a quarter inch of hot water into your jar before your product. That way, your corn isn't sticking to the jar and it's a little easier when you debubble to make sure you get all the air out of your jar. All right, so I'm gonna put a quarter inch of water in the bottom of this, just about, because- You don't need to be precise. All right, just-, just glug glug. Glug, I glug glug that. All right, now- Rob, just a minute, Rob. Yes? No backseat can, no backseat can. <laughs> <laughs> no backseat canning, she says, okay. So now I'm going to put corn into this jar, which you can't really see because I have all the other jars. We're working on this Before jar. Before you do, okay. what is your headspace requirement for this for this session? I think I don't know that. You were going to let me know that. What's my headspace? No, it's one inch. One inch? One inch headspace. Okay. Yeah. So ladle it in. Okay. And one inch from the top of the jar is usually the bottom ring. So you'll know. Now, do I need to go? No, you shouldn't top your jar because you don't want to shock them. People do. It's just a bad habit. Okay. Um, you can just do it without topping it. And you shouldn't have your jar on the bare counter. No. That's a cold circle. Make sure you have a towel there because you're going to add hot water to that jar. Okay. All right. I'm going to add. See, I have... I'm going to give you a chair. Rob's getting her, him and Peggy a chair. All right. I need a hey, towel under now. these jars because I'm going to be ladling hot water into these. And you don't want to surface cold underneath the jar because that can make it crack. Don't want to crack a jar. Okay. So add a little more corn. And then you can take your deep bubbler and pack it down with that. Just ram it in there and lift off your funnel to see if you're an inch off the top. Can you see it? 
Uh, not well, but you have in your hand a measuring device. Look for the one inch. Which one is the one? I can't really, the very end. Okay, so then I'm gonna measure and I think I can add yep. some more. Can I add more? Okay. Then, yep, you're, you're the one doing it. So you want it to you want it to go to the one inch level. And typically that's the bottom ring on the, on the jar. Okay. That's a good indication. Ram okay. it down again. Can I touch it while it, here? There you go. I think that might be okay. Look at that. No, oh, add, your add your liquid to the one inch mark. Okay, we're adding liquid to the one inch mark. Oh. Okay, now debubble again. And now when you debubble, quite often it'll make more room in the jar too. Okay. And that's when you determine oh, if you sorry. need to add more or not. I think it's okay. All right. Now you take your take your little uh, napkin and dunk it in your vinegar jar, your vinegar container. When do I add salt? Oh, if you're going to add, see, personally, I do not. Other people choose to. If you're going to add salt, do it now. Now, can I, should I, what kind of salt should I use? You can even add the... Um, you could even add your salt or other ingredients after the little initial liquid in the bottom of the jar. Um, always use a non-iodized salt because if you use iodized table salt, what it does is it actually makes the food, get out of there, it makes the food cloudy and very unappetizing. So use your non-iodized salt for all your canning. All right, got it. I'm going to give you back to Rob. I'm going to pour the salt in this little bowl because all with how things go with me, I'll end up just over dumping. I'm going to only do an eighth. I'm not a big salt fan. So this is just plenty for me. Now, do I need to stir that salt around? I do. Well, like, I, if I'm going to add it, I put it usually in the bottom of the jar. But that's okay. Just yeah, use your decoder okay. and whip it around. All right. Yeah. You know, what, you know when you put your water in the bottom of the jar just a little bit? Yes. You can add it back. Yeah. Okay. That's good, huh? That's all you need. All right. Now the I get... The napkin with the... Okay. The napkin with the vinegar. And the reason we use vinegar, uh, corn is sweet. There's a lot of sugar in the corn. We want to make sure there's no um, corn residue or uh, any of the natural sugars from the corn or salt or any even skin oils from your finger. We want to make sure we wipe just the top, just the rim, really well with vinegar and make sure there's nothing there and then you can put your lid on. All right, I'm giving you back to Rob. I didn't pass the round. I know. <laughs> She's just making rounds around here. Now, <laughs> when I put my lids in here, I, I kind of alternated them every other one so they wouldn't stick to each other. It helps lessen your chances of getting a double lid. It's okay that this yep. lid is wet, right? Perfectly fine. Okay. And then just... And now you're only going to fit your tight. As soon as you feel resistance, that's enough. Okay. All right, there's... And now put it in... Put it... Put it in your canner. Put this in my canner now? Really? You're dead. You did your... Yes! It's time to go in the canner. I did my first jar of corn and you guys got to see it. Thank you for your help so much. Other way. Other way. Other way. See? It's a good thing Rob is here because I was going to use the handle That's side. That's canning. See? Oh, jeez. All right. So in to my canner it goes. Yeah. Okay. The rate I'm going by midnight we should have corn, right? In future you're going to have a little... Um, a hot pad, a, a little, uh, what do you call them? So you don't burn your hand in the oven. You're going to have that in your other hand to hold underneath the jar so you have the support. Oh, okay. Got you. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. A like this? Yes. Go. Okay. <laughs> all right. We'll okay. do that. Now you can do one all by yourself and no one's going to interfere. You're just going to watch me now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here you go to Rob. All right. Now, now I'm a professional, okay? I'm a professional now. So we have the jar, all right, and we're going to put a little bit of water in the bottom, bloop, bloop, 
bloop, bloop, and we're doing that because it's going to be easier to bubble. Right? Right. I'm not here. You're not here. <laughs> she is not here. And in this one, I'm going to put some musket powder because I would like to try this. I like musket powder. It's kind of like a pepper. It's just different. It has a different flavor. And it's really good. I do like musket powder. And I'm going to add two musket powders because I think we need two. Link in my description. Now, we're going to put this thing in here. What's that thing? This is the funnel. There you go. Funnel, the funnel, the green funnel in there. And we're going to add a scoop of corn. And then we're going to add another scoop of corn. Woo! I think I need a smaller one of these. Not for Christmas, though. Don't want a funnel for Christmas. All right, we're going to take the debubbler and start doing this. And pushing the corn down in there and just having a party with it. Okay, let's see how we did. Well. It's good. Can she see my jar? She's looking. She can't see my jar. I can see you. Okay. That's about right. Um, I, think I, I think I could have a little more corn in this jar. Does it? Now, I have a question. Is it okay if it's if the corn isn't to that one inch but the water is? Yes. Okay. Do, do one that way. Have a look and see what you feel comfortable with. Uh, I was just asking. I'll, no, I was put more in there. I just didn't. Question. I didn't know. That's a good question. Does the product have to be all the way to the one inch, or is it okay if it? As long as you have something, whether it's product or liquid, going to that one inch mark, then the jar will be able to process. I would put as much product as you possibly can. I mean, that's that's real estate. Why not fill it? Okay. to see what it tastes like with this musket powder. I think that's enough bubbling. Now, let me show her. What? Do I need more liquid in that, or is that okay? I can't personally see the liquid at all, so you have to go by, are you at the one inch mark? Yes. Yes. Then you're good. Yeah, I'm there. Then you're good. Then you're good. I think I'm okay. I think that's okay. All right, then. I'm going to yeah, get the vinegar, yeah. and I'm going to wipe the little rim, and then get my little lid out, put it on there, and get my canning lid and finger tight, right? Yeah, but I'm not here. I don't know. But she's not there. She's there. I know she's there. I can see her. Not unless you're ghosting me. Don't you dare ghost me. I'm going to take Peggy to Walmart out there. <laughs> she's in Walmart the garage. We call our garage Walmart just in case that's what we're referring to. And I think that I have two lids sticking together. I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. The water creates something that makes it really hard to get them apart, eh? Well, yeah, and I even had them doubled. I must have missed that one. Okay, there. Oh, they're too tight. Finger tighten. In, if you over tighten, your jar lid will buckle. I don't want to buckle. Okay, <laughs> there. That's there all right. Go. There. Right in. All right. Into the canning jar we go. Okay. There we go. I just told Peggy that we do have well water, and she said it is recommended that you use not city water when you can, right? Because of the fluorides and everything that's in that water. I want to put that in your food. How would they get water if they have city water? What would they use? Yeah. Um, you can buy you can buy giant jugs of water. You can get uh, water from a friend with a well that you trust. Or um, I used to have a friend that would boil giant giant kettles of water the night before her canning and let it sit out because by doing that it eliminates the fluoride in the water. But personally, I would use bottled water, the big jugs. All right, we will be back. Yeah. We have our jars filled up and they're in the canner, all ready to go. Now what Now what do we do? I see light. Okay, now try the other side. 
right now you're babysitting until that spigot goes that one is your emergency poofer if you screw up and leave it and walk out and go wash your car and forget your canning that thing is going to explode off and release the pressure so you don't have a bomb let's not do that for calling peggy hi it's it's us and I think that it's time. Can you hear it? It's a, it's a steady. It's steady. A steady stream of every. I can't. It's steady. Does that have to, does yeah. have to cover? You're good. Okay. I, I'm just. I'm just taking. Taking all the options. And you're gonna just stay in the kitchen. My first canning jar. Look at. I did it. Thank you so much, Peggy. I appreciate she spent the whole afternoon with us. Did I hear a pop? Yes. That's close, isn't it? We just heard a pop. That oh, one? another pop. There's another pop. Yay. They're popping. I know it's mass confusion, but that's our life. And if you're learning from us, I hope I hope you could learn something because I'm learning. I hope you can learn too. I hope it's just not mass confusion like my life normally is.